the next source of uh, long term capital is retained earning or plowing back of profit so plowing back of profit is an important source of internal finance for a company so what we mean by retained earning or plowing back of profit refers to the process of retaining a part of the company's net profit for the purpose of reinvesting it in the business itself or in the future in other words the savings generated internally by a company in the form of retained earning are plowed back into the company for diversification of its business or uh, retained earning are part of equity which is sacrificed by the equity shareholders retained earnings are the best and the cheapest source of finance for the business for using retained earning as capital a business does not have to depend on outsiders for using retained earning as capital a business does not have to depend on outsiders and uh, it strengthen the position of a business so uh, there are certain merits of using retained earning as a source of long term capital like number one is it's readily available so retained earning is already in the hands of company just the company need to use it as capital so when a company is having sufficient retained earnings does not have to depend on outsiders to meet the long term financial requirement and being an internal source it is easily available for a firm next is less expensive since it is internally available there is no flotation cost there is no brokerage cost there is no underwriters commission so the cost of raising funds is reduced now uh, the next is no dilution of control so since retained earning is a internal source of finance so it eliminate the fear of ownership dilution and loss control by the existing shareholders the next is no surge on assets so using retained earning as capital do not create any surge over the assets of the company so assets remain free now there are certain limitations so what is the limitation the availability is limited since it is a reserve made out of profit so it depends on the profit so this limits the availability of fund to be used as retained earning or as applying back of profit next dissatisfaction among the investors so excessive retained earning means adoption of conservative dividend policy because if the company need to reserve a part of profit then this will definitely reduce the dividend of the shareholders and the company need to adopt a conservative dividend policy so this may create some dissatisfaction among the shareholders the next long term source of capital used by the companies is debenture so a debenture is an acknowledgement of a debt by a company usually issued under a common seal a debenture holder is a creditor of the company and a fixed rate of interest is paid to the debenture holders and the interest on debenture is a surge on the profit and loss account of the company debenture holders are the their creditors they are not the owner of the company so by issuing debentures company can raise long term fund so there are certain merits of issuing debentures number one is fixed rate of interest unlike equity shares debentures carry fixed rate of interest which is both for the company as well as for the debenture holders debenture holders are assured of getting fixed income and for the company also the amount of interest to be paid to the debenture holder remain fixed unlike the equity shareholders debenture holders cannot claim more interest in case the company earned good profit then no dilution of control since debenture holders are not owner they are just creditor of the company so issue of debenture never dilute the controlling power of the equity shareholders and they cannot take part in the management of the company and they don't have voting right the next advantage is tax benefit 
interest paid on debenture is tax free hence it is one of the cheapest source of long term capital for any company then trading on equity debentures enable the company to take advantage of trading on equity it helps in maximizing return on equity shareholders and wealth maximization of the equity shareholders then uh, flexibility use of debentures bring flexibility to the capital structure of the company as they can be redeemed after a certain period of time then there are certain demerits of issuing debentures like issue of debenture is a permanent burden since payment of interest to the debenture holder is fixed so it put a real burden over the company and particularly when the income of the company is low it become very risky or the burden become very risky then weaken the credit worthiness when a company use excessive debenture for raising fund this uh, weakens the credit worthiness of the company and it restricts the capacity of the company of further borrowing then surge over asset so what happen when company issue debenture it create surge over the asset of the company which again weakens the borrowing powers of the company uh, the next source of raising long term fund is term loan that is term loan provided by various financial institutions term loan may be of two type one is short term loan another is long term loan loan raised for a period ranging from 1 year to 5 years are called short term loan and loan raised for a period above 5 years are called long term loan so this term loans are long term debt for a company raised for long term investment like expansion diversification and modernization etc so in india there are several financial institutions established by the central government as well as state government for providing uh, financial and technical assistance to the business and industrial houses the main objective of such institutions is to provide medium term and long term capital to the industrial enterprises and business houses some of them are like industrial finance corporation of india then industrial development bank of india then industrial credit and investment corporation of india then there are sfcs in the state level etc so this is all about uh, sources of long term fund now i uh, will discuss some source of or methods of raising medium term or short term fund so one of the methods of raising medium or short term fund is loan from commercial banks so commercial banks are the most important and easy source of providing short term capital to the business houses they constitute the major portion of working capital loans they are given on the security of tangible and readily marketable securities they provide a wide variety of loan tailored to meet the specific requirements of the business houses the main form in which commercial banks provide short term finance to business enterprise are uh, loan cash credit overdraft bill discounting etc then the next source is public deposit so in case of public deposit general public are invited to deposit their savings with the company here a company can obtain fund directly from the public at the time of accepting deposit the company issue a receipt mentioning the amount of deposit the date of accepting the deposit the rate of interest to be offered and the date of repayment etc as compared to banks companies offer higher rate of interest on public deposit on the other hand for companies public deposit is cheaper than loan from commercial banks and in recent time public deposit has become a popular means of raising short term fund then there are some other sources like indigenous bankers then the depreciation fund then the trade credit government loans and assistance and customers advance so who is indigenous banker indigenous bankers are private money lenders and other country bankers who provide short term finance and serves higher rate of interest however with the advancement or with the development of commercial banks and other financial institutions 
the dominance of indigenous bankers is reducing and these days company prefer to go to bank instead of indigenous bankers um, but in case of emergency some business houses some small business houses they go for indigenous bankers then the depreciation fund so depreciation fund is created out of profit of the company provide a good service of short term capital provided they are not invested in or represented by an asset then trade credit trade credit refers to the credit extended by the suppliers to the buyers so under this agreement credit is not granted in cash the goods are sold on credit the usual duration of trade credit varies from 15 days to 19 days it is granted to those customers who have sound financial standing goodwill and reputation so this is also one good source of short term credit then government loan and assistance nowadays government both central and state provides business finance to industries in the form of loan for the development of industries preferably um, some small scale industries and some key industries are getting loan at concessional rate of interest further financial assistance is also provided to industries of national importance in whose development the government is interested then customers advance so nowadays lending and reputed industries whose products are in good demand such as tata steel maruti car bajaj auto etc get advance from their customers and the agents against order received from them so it is also a source of good source of short term finance which involve no cost customers advance so what happen nowadays the reputed companies who has very dominance in the market who are having goodwill in the market so they take advance from their customers and agents against the order received from their customers so this is a very important source of short term fund for those companies and this is very cheap also because the company need not pay any interest on that advance received so big companies like uh, tata like maruti like bazaars hero all these companies are using this techniques of getting short term fund so this is all about various sources of short term and long term fund uh, for further reference uh, you can use the books on financial management by prasanna sandra and you can have a good idea about financial management thank you